Hello again, folks. This is this is actually a battle about perseverance. Now, not giving up despite even when things are not going well. So here I'm in my T49. It's a tier five game on uh, Fisherman's Bay. And I'm gonna do what I usually like to do with this tank. I'm gonna run. When I start on the northern side, I should say I run westward towards a bush out here that I find makes an excellent uh, sort of scout sniping position. You can snipe when the enemy's further away, and as they get closer, you just turn into a passive scout. Uh, and interestingly, I very rarely have people actually drive up to me in this bush, so I can actually stay there for very long periods, uh, switching between just being a scout for my team and being an actual sniping tank for my team. You're probably going, where is this magical bush? Well, it's actually this bush right here. Unfortunately, my approach, I messed up my approach here. I'm actually not as far into the bush as I'd like to be, so I don't have as much good cover, which is why I'm sitting here fidgeting. So yeah, it's already not started off very well. There's a Panzer 1C running around through my team's middle, but I haven't taken those in. There we go, this is a little bit better. Oop. But one of our more aggressive scouts, Panzer 1C, has spotted one of the, the one and only enemy artillery. Someone please kill him. There we go, Panzer 1C. Keep on him, keep on him, keep on him, splat. All right, good. Well, unfortunately, that's exposed him to this Covenanter. And... I'm going to try and snipe the Covenanter here, but he takes out the... He has the Howitzer, so he takes out the Panzer 1C with one shot. I'm trying to get a little vengeance for him here. But, as you can see, my accuracy is suffering somewhat. Oh crap, I've been spotted. Probably by the Covenanter because I was shooting at him. So now it's time to leave. But hey, if I can leave and chase the Covenanter... That, that's good, right? Right? Oh, crap, that's her. Go, 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 go. I need to get this Covenanter away from our Sexton. I mean, he's no longer in danger of being shot to death by our... Uh, the enemy already, since he's already dead. But, uh... It's entirely possible to kill by someone Alright, so... Covenanter taken out. We're now up 5-1. This is actually a, a very promising start for my team. Unfortunately, I'm looking at the deployment and thinking to myself, this could be a lot better. Um, there's not a lot of tanks in the city, and I can see there's an M4, a Panzer IV, and a T40 who are clearly just having a field day down there, and they've just brought the score back down to uh, 5 on 4. So I decided I need to try and press them a little bit. Let's see if I can get some flanking shots from somewhere over here. The first thing's first, there's an enemy heavy tank. There's an Excelsior and a BD... No, it's a BDR over here. I like to get shots on, but nope. They're on the other side of the ledge. I hate so much over there that makes it very difficult to take them out. So instead, I come this way to try and put fire into the advancing M4 and T40 and Panzer IV in the city. Unfortunately, I'm going to misjudge their angle and speed of advance. And I take a shot there, hit something else that's in the way. Realize I don't, won't have a shot on the other, start backing up, try and redeploy. Can't get anyone here as the Panzer IV takes out the last defender on that flank. Realizing I'm the only person left over here, and I'm in a T-49. Uh, I decide to turn around and start falling back. And you can see there's a VK 3108H who's camping our rear area. Uh, I decide I'm getting out of here. At this point, I'm suddenly spotted by the M4 advancing. I've got my gun pointed the wrong way, and I'm spotted. Bad for T49. Bad, bad, bad. Run, 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 run. Thankfully, the VK, who's sitting in the rear, is now in a position to start sniping these guys as they leave the city. Unfortunately, the M4 did spot the sexton, and artillery is taken out. And now it's 810. The battle that was 5 1 just a couple minutes ago has now turned extremely against us. There's the enemy Excelsior, full health. I'm going to see if I can get some shots in here from behind the hopeful cover of this bush. Missed. Turn it, turn it, turn it. Alright, I'm up to 243 damage. Can I get one more? Nope, and I was spotted. I don't like being spotted. Being spotted is bad. Oh, there's the pinch for Oh, crap, it's a T40. Oh, he's, he's when he's gone this way. Go, 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 run, 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 run. Oh, that's the howitzer. If he hits me, if he touches me, the howitzer, I'm just going to die. Yeah. Run, 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 run. Uh-oh. And there goes all of our allies on the southeast flank. It's just me and the VK now. All right. Got to deal with one set of problems at a time. That means that this Panzer IV and this T-40 have got to go. So moving up here, and the T-40 pops back up. He's the biggest threat that I can get a shot at. So I wait. I get my camo net up. And I just gun him down. All right, took him out, got spotted, but I should be okay. The Panzer IV is right over there. I turn to see if I can get in to engage him. But the VK gets him first. I'm 
Even though I was kind of cursing him earlier for being AFK, his positioning there now has proved me very fortuitous. So our T-46, who's of course quite dead, is pinging the west side of the map where two, where two tanks for his enemy heavy tank were all spotted. I take out the wreckage here just to make sure. And I'm like, alright, that's fine. I'm going to try and loop around and get behind them. I'm also saying to myself, where are the last two enemy tier 3s? Where are those two scouts? They haven't been seen all battle. So I'm running this way, hoping that they're both just AFK. Uh, but of course, they're not. Because they're going to show up right about now. Uh oh, this is way too close. But there's no choice here. I gotta, I gotta kill him. That's one. Oops. Yeah, I'm being shot at probably by the Wolverine because that didn't do enough damage. Oh, we go. Oh, there's the other one. Run, 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 run. I ping him, requesting the VK concentrate on killing him. He's the only invisible, so even a puppy is probably gonna aim at him while I just run away to try and avoid that tank destroyer fire. Panzer 3A is chasing me. Can't say I blame him. I am easy to kill. But now that I'm sure I'm below the line of fire of his friends, I'm going to turn and try and fight him off. The VK tracks him, which means I miss him with a miss shot, but I reload so fast, it doesn't really matter. Alright, he's out. I turn around to go and sit now to try and vanish, and then come out to help the uh, VK, but he's under he's taking a lot of hits from the enemy tank destroyers. I come charging back to try and get the enemy tank destroyers under fire because I'd love to kill them before they get a chance to uh, take him out, but nope. Alright, I need to get out of here. I need to fall back, and what I want to do is I want them to start capping the base, but first, I need to make distance. So I run up this way. First thing I'm going to try engaging out of the woods up here until I hit the street. Whoops. That just broadcast my location to everybody in the in, 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 that's looking for this. So now I'm just going to do a little running away. And then move to reposition myself from a new angle. Yeah, I'm still hitting things, but these are smaller things. They'll be less likely to notice them. Hitting trees is usually the big giveaway. Ah, uh, and one of them is driven onto the base. All right. A view range should be able to cover the base from the middle road. So I'm going to zoom up this road and hope that my camo is, is good enough to keep me hidden while allowing me to spot whatever's sitting on the base so I can just take it out. Okay, base is fully in view range now. Just need a little bit of a break here somewhere. Bingo. Oh, it's the Excelsior. He's at very low health. Stop. Take aim at the top of the turret. Whoop, and there's the Wolverine. He has just popped out as well. My sixth sense says I'm not spotted, so I'm going to start putting fire into him. Whoop, he reversed. I just missed him. That one bounced off. So Liam 10's having armor. Not going to save him. Come on. Ah, that one hit the ground. And he's in cover, I think. I'm going to take a quick look, but yeah, he's heading for that rock. Okay. I'm not going to charge him like a reckless idiot. There's still an SC-35 out there, and if he's got the top gun, he can actually one-shot me right now. And I don't really feel like being one-shotted. Well, he was last seen near B2. So I'm going to rely on the fact that Wolverine just took a pounding to keep him pinned down in those trees over there, and I'm going to flank west. Our SU-85 says I should be capping right now, but no, no, no. There's still two of them. There's only one of me. And this tank is not built for capping. If I sit in the middle of their cap, in the open, I will die. And will totally deserve to die. C46 points out they're both on my hit points. And that is a very good reason. They both are easy one-shots for me. I'm going to rely on this tank's superior mobility and stealth to try and creep up on them and just ninja them. So right now I'm coming up along the road here. I said myself, alright, the SC35 is looking. I need to get off the road right about here to keep the optical barriers up. Now, there is a small possibility he's preempted me, and therefore he might be aiming down this way. So I'm going to come up here, and I'm going to use my sixth sense to test this entry. Pull out, side to grip back, pull back forward. Sixth sense does not go off, he's not watching this way. Drive forward. Now, of course, the big problem is I don't know exactly where he is. I know he's somewhere up here where he was last seen, but I can't be exactly sure where. So he could show up at any moment while I'm hunting for him. And there he is. Pause, pull back, reverse. I was spotted, but he's not looking this way. Alright, 
target. Tango down. Just one to go. The Wolverine. Once again, maneuver, trying to make sure that uh, I've got as much cover as possible. I end up tracking myself like a total newbie. So I have to use my repair kit. And I come up over here. I use these bushes to crest the ridge as invisibly as possible. You might notice I've come forward, I've pulled back. Six sense does not go off. Pull up into this bush. Oh, there he is. But the bush here does not allow, the ridge here does not allow me to pull through. So I pull all the way forward. So I'm just in front of the bush. And finish him off. And in the end, I'll point out, when most of my team was already dead, I'd only done just about 300 damage. But by persevering, I managed to come out of it with 1,362 damage, which is the top damage on my team, and a win. Good game, and good night.